What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we are getting ready to do traction bars on the daily. A few little updates here. One thing I want to mention, we do have, which is already dirty, left lane diesels hats. Pretty cool. Just the main logo right up on the front there. Um, so those are available on the website. There is a link down in the description. You can also pick up shirts, sweatshirts, stickers, everything like that. We also have uh, new sizes. Uh, so 2X and 3X, both in shirts and sweatshirts. You can also pick up up pipes. Up pipes are back in stock, so you can grab those. Um, differential cover kits, coolant filters, of course, are on there as well. So uh, a lot of cool things there. One new link that's gonna be down in the description is the Patreon. Uh, yes, I started a Patreon. I had a few guys reach out to me and they were interested um, in something like that. So um, I opened up a Patreon account. So now you guys can click that link and go over and contribute monthly. Um, you can also contribute just uh, one time if you wanted to. Um, any contribution is absolutely fantastic. It's what's gonna get the race truck together um, and allow me to keep doing cool videos. So what you're going to get if you become a patron on the account is you are going to get uh, first access to what we're going to be doing in a new video. So for example, I did a uh, little post on there letting everybody know that we're going to be doing traction bars, possibly a differential cover kit and doing some sound deadening. So you're going to be able to know what the video is going to be about um, before the video goes out. So you'll be get first access to that information. And also it is gonna be the best way to get a hold of me. If you've got questions about your 6.0, if you've got questions about any of the projects on the channel, um, being a patron is what's gonna count. Um, I get so many messages every day on Instagram that it's getting out of hand. And so uh, the Patreon patron dealio over there is gonna be the best way. That way we can communicate. You'll get full access, be able to talk to me, ask questions. Um, about pretty much anything, anything diesel related, whether it's about my stuff, your stuff, doesn't matter. We can chat and talk about it. So make sure you guys head over there and become a patron. Enough of that though, guys, let's jump into the video. We're going to be tackling the traction bars. So I'm going to go over what we got, where we got it from, and what's going to be the process for getting this stuff on. Um, this is going to be a DIY. You guys know it. Left lane diesels is all about DIY stuff. Do it yourself. And so that's what we're gonna be doing today. DIY, track bar setup, top-notch quality stuff and parts here. Let's do it. So we started underneath the truck here. You can see we have our shocks removed as well as our shock brackets, um, which are over here. Uh, that, those are just hold on by a U-bolt. Uh, so those come right off. That way we got plenty of room. You can see on this side, we got this one removed. The shock hanging out over here. And the next thing we did is we <clears throat> went ahead and cleaned up where we're going to be putting our track bar for our axle brackets. And so basically we lined it up with the frame here. We want it to be as close to that as possible. You want to make sure you give yourself plenty of room. You can see where our axle bracket went here. Or I mean, you can see where our shock bracket went here. So we have our two lines uh, to show where our two tabs are going to go on this side. And then same thing on this side over here. Our bracket went right here. Our two axle brackets are gonna go here. So then we just cleaned it up. We wanna get that to bare metal. Now coming over here, everything that we you see here is actually from Ballistic Fab, um, except for this piping. This piping is two inch quarter wall, um, and then we have five eighths inch heim joints on both ends. Um, they are greasable on both ends as well. Um, we actually already welded these up in a previous thing. Uh, I did it off camera. So basically this part, <clears throat> so basically this part here, it, it goes inside of the tube here. You weld it into place and then that's what threads this part in and out. So um, one is gonna be right-hand thread. The other one's gonna be left-hand thread. That way you can adjust these bars uh, while it's on the truck. And then next thing we have here is our axle brackets. You can see we put a slight bevel where we're going to be welding. And then we cleaned up a little bit along the edge here where we're going to be welding. And then this setup, <clears throat> I made this setup so that it kind of mimics if this was in place. Um, that way we can weld this on without actually having this in place. So we can basically tighten that up, make sure everything's nice and flat and level and weld those tabs into place. Our frame brackets are right here, again, from Ballistic Fab, uh, 5 8 holes for our front mounts, which is actually what this is. This is our front heim joint. That's going to go in there just like that. 
Um, I'm undecided whether I want to bolt these in or weld these in. I think I will most likely just go ahead and weld them in. And then these parts here, go right across the top here. We may or may not use these. <clears throat> this is for extra uh, integrity, a little bit extra support. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to have any problems. This is, I mean, this is absolutely massive, massive hardware right here. So, yeah, everything from Ballistic Fab. All right, so here you can see we've just kind of got it zip tied on and we're just kind of getting positioning correct. Um, we're using a reference point of measurement from right here, this flat surface. Um, so we're measuring from there out. And we wanna make sure that front to back, we are at the same. So right here, we're at about 10 and a half and right here, we're about 13 and a half. And so then we'll do the same thing, measuring from here. <clears throat> We'll measure this again, and again, we're at 10 and a half and 13 and a half. Sometimes you gotta adjust these a little bit, that way they are perfectly, um, you know, because if you move this side back, that's gonna point the bracket towards this side. If you move this one uh, back, it'll point it that way. So, and then if we go this side, you can see we are straight up and down, which is what we want. And so, at this point, we can go ahead and tack this one in. The reason, there's a couple reasons why we're doing this. This is so when we weld, these don't try to pull in, um, or if we try to weld outside, it doesn't try to pull these apart. Um, so this is nice and tight. So that should hold our brackets in place while we do our welding. Um, for now, we're just gonna tack it in. We'll get the zip tie off of there, and then we'll move over to the other side and get that one tacked in. Um, but just to kind of give you guys a reference point of how I'm doing the measurements, you can see, again, you wanna make sure you stay out of this line here. So we'll, we'll have, we got plenty of room between there. All right, so we got it tacked into place. We got two on the inside and two on the outside on both brackets. Let's see there. And now we can go right ahead and start doing our welding. Um, we want it to be, this is our, this is our welder. Hobart Handler 180. Uh, we're gonna have it on the three setting. Wire speed somewhere 45-ish, somewhere around in there. Um, we'll probably play with that as we weld. Um, but everything is nice and clean. We just got to uh, weld it on. Um, so at this point, Couple things, you don't wanna get it too hot. We do have a seal inside of our differential here. Um, we got a seal on the outside too. So a lot of the heat's gonna go into the differential. And so we gotta be somewhat uh, careful of that. Uh, we don't wanna get our seals up too hot. So when we weld this, <clears throat> we wanna take caution. We're gonna be probably doing, uh, we're gonna kinda jump around a little bit. So our first, we'll do like a half bead to the center and then we'll jump across over here, do a half bead. We'll just kind of jump around, do little half beads. Um, and then when we end with our final weld, we'll just kind of go over top of each of our corners, front and back. So um, kind of jump around. We'll let it cool down about five, 10 minutes uh, between each one, uh, each quarter weld. And then, uh, yeah, we should be good to go. Let's do it. it up capped over the top front and back both sides looking good so now the next thing that we're gonna do is we actually have to drop the truck down and we're gonna install our track bars into the bottom mounts there um, and then we're gonna install them into the top ones here and we're gonna raise it up. The reason we gotta do it on the ground is because that's where he, that's the way the truck's gonna be. Um, it's gonna be on the ground with the suspension in. So um, right now the suspension is drooped because we have it up on the lift. So we gotta put our shocks back on, drop the suspension down, get our track bars in there, and then we can figure out where these need to go. For positioning of how far you should thread these in, you can see, if I grab this one here, 
you can see how far we've got it threaded in. So I like to thread these in about two thirds of the way. So there's only about a third that's kind of sticking out here. Um, and that gives us plenty of adjustability in and out. Uh, but this is a really good starting point to have these set at. Um, that way they are the exact same length, both sides, and we can get these put in and drop the truck down, see where they lay. So under the truck there, you can see we have it, a bolt going through the rear there. We got our track bar and then we got our upper bracket here. And basically what we did is we lifted it up to the frame. Um, we have our both ends threaded in about two thirds of the way. We lifted it up to the frame. We marked uh, the front and the back of the bracket. Um, that way we can weld that on. You can see, just by judging from back here, you can see where these track bars are gonna line up. Um, they are just a touch long. Um, I would have preferred it to be mounted somewhere in this area here versus up here. Um, these bars, when I originally built these, they were designed to go on the King Ranch project. But as you guys know, we sold that. And so we're just trying to repurpose these. Um, there's not going to be any adverse effects of, you know, having these um, be a little bit longer. Ideally, what you want is you want to match the angle of your drive shaft. So if we crawl underneath here. So our angle of our drive shaft here, that's what you want to match up these track bars with um, when you're measuring this out as far as what length bar you need. So uh, these would have worked great on the King Ranch. They're going to be a little bit long for the daily here, um, but they will still serve the same purpose and do just as well. So yeah, now that we got this one marked, we'll hop onto the other side. We'll get that side marked up uh, for the frame. And then uh, we'll go back up in the air and weld these suckers in. We got our front brackets tacked into place here, both sides ready to go. They're all cleaned up. And now we're basically just gonna go into a full weld. Um, we're gonna start on this side here and we're gonna weld the front and the back. And then we're gonna jump over here, weld the front and back. And then back to this side, we'll do a little bit on the sides and then back over here um, we are going to be welding on the inside lip and the outside lip out here. And so we'll probably do like half and then jump over to that side. That way we can kind of keep heat under control and we should be good to go. So I'm going to set you guys up on time lapse and we're going to get after it. Well, there we are guys. We got these all welded up all the way on both sides. Let's see our welds there. And we also welded in the circles here on both sides. And then in the back here, we got these, we got primed up. Um, obviously this stuff is bare metal. So we got it primed up on the back here. Uh, we gotta let these ones cool down before we can prime these. Um, we're gonna be painting the brackets probably just black, and then uh, you guys will have to wait for the uh, next video. We're gonna go get our traction bars powder coated, and yeah, I'm not, I'm undecided on a color, so you guys will have to drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Obviously, the truck is white, um, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about white. I might just end up making them black and calling it a day. So we're gonna wrap it up for today's video. That's gonna be it. We are pretty much done with the traction bars. Like I said, we're gonna go get them powder coated and then we'll get them installed in one of the next videos. So that's gonna be coming up here pretty soon. Drop a comment, let me know what you guys think we should powder coat, what color we should use. Till next time guys, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you guys are heading down into the description and going over to the website, picking up some merch, getting over onto the Patreon website. Um, any, any help over there, guys, is, is, is a big time help. So thank you guys for tuning in on today's video. Like, subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment. We'll see you in the next video.